Okay, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Brain Logic. So let's go and figure out this super simple math problem right here. And what we have is 10 plus 30 divided by 2. Seems pretty basic, seems pretty easy. Everyone learns this stuff in the third grade. We have addition, we have division, we have like not a huge values. We have 10, 30 and 2. So that's fantastic. So go ahead and put your answer down into the comment section and I will show you the correct answer here in just one minute. It will be really interesting because many people are going to get this problem incorrect. So if you could do this without a calculator, put your answer into the comment section, I'll show you the correct answer here in just one minute, and then I'm going to kind of really emphasize an extremely important basic math concept that is going to be the reason why a lot of you are going to do this problem incorrectly. So here is our challenge, here is our option, choose one option, what do you think is a correct, and write your option down into the comment section. So there are two types of people. So first type of people solve this question like that. So this is like a first, this is like a first interpretation, okay? So we have 10, plus 30 divided by 2. These types of people don't know about order of operation. They say, okay, 10 plus 30, let's add it at first. So from left to right, yeah. Let's solve this question randomly. So 10 plus 30 equal to 40. And with this division by 2, so 40 divided by 2, we have our answer equal to equal to 20. And this is our option, option A. We have this option A and it looks like option A is a correct answer. Uh, this is the solution for first type of people. But you should understand that in math we should know what is the correct order to do this problem. So right here we solve this question randomly, we just do whatever we want, we add at first, then divide. But in terms of math it's really great to know about order of operation because Every expression can be simplified by the order of operation, often remembered by the acronyms. For example, let's look at this PMDMC. This is like the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific graphing calculator works according to PMDMC. So first we should evaluate parentheses brackets, then evaluate exponents orders, then evaluate multiplication and division group, and the last step addition and subtraction group. So saying in other words, parentheses have the highest priority, and the addition and subtraction group have the lowest priority, okay? And right now let's solve this question according to this order of operation. So it looks like it was our first interpretation, but right now let's solve it according to the second interpretation, okay? So let's look at it. So parentheses, exponent, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. So right now, right now let's scan our question. So we have 10, we have 10 plus 30 divided by 2, okay? Right now let's scan what elements do we have. What about parentheses? If for me personally I don't see any parentheses, so let's let's skip this part. We don't have any parentheses, so we just skip this part. We don't have any brackets, we don't have any parentheses. What about exponents right here? Let's scan, maybe we have exponents, maybe cubes, fifth power, tenth power, hundredth power, maybe. No, I don't see any of those, because if you have if you have exponents, you should raise this. For example, 10 square, you should raise this before doing the next steps, okay? So, okay, let's go to the next step. Multiplication and division group. This is one common group, a lot of students forget about it, a lot of students start with multiplication, but this is one common group, okay? So, multiplication and division sign. Let's scan, where do we have this multiplication and division sign? We have addition sign, we are not interested in this. Yeah, right here we have division sign, so we really need this expression right now. And if you look closely, we don't have multiplication sign, we have division sign. If you look closely, we find our first step, because we don't have parentheses, exponent, multiplication, and we have division part. So let's start with this division. So we have 10 plus 30 divided by 2 equal to, equal to 15. Okay, we complete this division part, and right now we don't need order of operation because addition is very simple. Yeah, very simple, we can easily add it. So right here we have we have this addition, so we don't have any subtraction, so we can easily add it equal to equal to 25. And as you can see, a division is all the time before addition. So you should divide it first, then you should add at first. This is a correct order of operation. Don't forget about it because this is a very huge mistake in terms of mass. This is not this is the biggest mistake in terms of mass when you add at first, then divide because multiplication and division group is all the time before addition and subtraction group. So division is all the time before addition. We divide at first, then we we add at first. But one really important moment because right here we can't find our answer, because we can't find our 25. So a lot of students goes back to this wrong answer 20, which is absolutely incorrect solution in our case, and they choose option A and then they go to the next question. But in our case, option A is absolutely wrong solution. But with one really interesting moment for me, take a look closely. With parentheses, this question will be great 
will be okay, absolutely okay, because right now we can easily start from these parentheses because parentheses are we have the highest priority, so it doesn't matter what uh, operations do we have inside parentheses, you should start from this, maybe addition, division, multiplication, exponents, every time you should start from these parentheses and then 10 plus 30 will be okay because we should do this inside parentheses, yeah, and then 40 is okay, and then divided by 2 equal to 20. Okay, okay, solution when we have parentheses. But in our case we don't have parentheses, so we should we should learn about order of operation. PMDMC, BODMAS, doesn't matter, because there are a lot of orders of operations, every country have their own order of operation, every country have a differences between these order of operation, but in our case doesn't matter. PMDMC, BODMAS, uh, I hope your answer is the same as mine, but if you don't trust me, you can easily plug in this uh, question into a scientific or graphing calculator, maybe your telephone, regular telephone, but don't use maybe your regular telephone because sometimes, uh, you know, some calculators work with problem as you type it in. So, for example, if you type this question, maybe let's go with me, let's take your telephone and and let's check it. Uh, what about your calculator? So, take a look closely. If you plug in this 10 plus 30, some calculators, you know, uh, are work with problem is, as you type it in, okay? So, you type this problem and uh, it, they do this problem as you type it in because if you use something little more sophisticated like scientific or graphing calculator where you can just type the problem the entire problem the correct answer will be 25 but for example imagine you have a regular calculator you plug in this 10 plus 30 instantly sometimes calculator gives you answer 40 with this division so they start with this addition because they don't know what you have um, further they don't know about division you, they uh, this calculators add it okay 10 plus 30 they add it they we have like 40 and then division by 2 equal to 20 so sometimes calculator start with left to right but if you want to get a correct answer you should type the whole problem this is very important step so type a whole problem and then the equal sign the enter button what do you have i don't know exactly but try to type the whole problem but if you want uh, to check it 100%, you can easily use your scientific or graphing calculator where you can type this whole problem and you will have the same answer as mine, which is which is a really important step. So this is our question, very tricky question, a lot of students make this mistake, a lot of students make this answer A, 20, this is very big, big mistake, but what about the correct answer? Let's look closely right here, 20, 40, what about the option? Right here we have 50 over 2. This is a very interesting moment because 50 over 2 equal to 25. This is like a fraction, this is like a tricky moment right here because 50 over 2, let's write it. So 50 over 2 equal to equal to 25, okay? So this is absolutely the same as right here. So we can easily write our answer, answer. This is option, option C is a correct answer. So I hope your answer is the same as mine, but definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong because sometimes happen, sometimes you worry on the exam and you, you know that... Mm, you don't have time and you should uh, solve this problem quickly, so you add it first, divide, you forget about order of operation. This is a very big mistake in terms of math. Don't forget uh, about it and learn this order of operation, doesn't matter, PMDMC, board math. Division is all the time before addition. Multiplication is all the time before subtraction. So multiplication and division group is all the time before addition and subtraction. And exponents is all the time before multiplication division. So as you can see, the lowest priority and the highest priority. Parentheses have the highest priority and addition and subtraction have the lowest priority. This is very important, important thing in terms of math. Okay, if you made this error, I'm happy you made this because you won't make this error again. You'll be like, oh, now I get it. So let's go ahead and apply the order of operation. Now pretty easy stuff. So here's our problem. And so anytime you're faced with like a numeric exp expression, you'll get better at this through through practice because you just need a little bit practice to practice your your order of operation your tricks because this is not like a hard question but a lot of students make this made this wrong and it's really important in terms of in terms of mass so definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong okay now if you need to learn basic mass interesting brain test iq question right if you're struggling with basic mass or like pre-algebra concept you can easily subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it i definitely wish you all the best in your mathematic adventure so thank you for your time and have a great day and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe subscribe as it definitely helped me now for this for this particular video so i hope your answer is 25 i hope you understand why 20 is absolutely incorrect solution i hope you learned something new maybe not a huge information a huge amount of information but a little bit maybe you learn and i really appreciate it and it's really great that you learn learn something new so this is my explanation to this question i hope you understand it and thank you for your time have a great day see you in the next videos